Hey guys, it's me Jocelyn. So today I'm going to be doing an updated how to use Alight Motion for Beginners YouTube tutorial. Last time I made this, it was like 2021 and the app I feel like has changed drastically since then. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how to use it. And yeah, this is for people who have used it before or just completely new beginners. And I'm gonna be showing you how to download audios, add beats in and photos and yeah. I have a tutorial from like three years ago on how to make a full edit. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out because it's all pretty much the same there. But let's just get started. First things first, when you open a light motion, it's gonna look something like this. Now, assuming you don't have the pro version because you just bought it for the first time, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit this X right here. Now you're gonna come to this screen. You're gonna wanna hit this plus right here and it's gonna show you all these different sizes you can make your edit. The most standard one I feel is either one to one, four to three, or four to five. I'm just gonna do one to one for the sake of this tutorial and I'm just gonna rename this tutorial. Most people have their frame rates to 60 frames per second for the smoothest quality and the background color is whatever you want it to be. It's not really gonna matter in the end. I'm just gonna keep it black. Then I'm gonna hit create project. Now you wanna add in your audio. Now, if you don't know where to start or even where to find an audio, what I do normally is I go to TikTok and I just search up audios. Oh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open TikTok and This is a lot easier because of my last video. I use this Instagram app and people that have Instagram or the app doesn't work anymore, so. So now what you wanna do is you wanna hit this plus and you wanna go to media and then just add that in. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to these three dots and then hit extract audio. This is optional. You could just leave the video in if you wanted, but I'm not a fan of that. So after you extract it, you can just go ahead and delete the video and your audio will still be there. Now to add on beats, I think this is the same for every phone, but I could be wrong. Um, Androids could be different. You're gonna wanna play your audio and through every beat you hear, just go ahead and tap this little line right here. So if I'm playing it right here, I'm gonna go ahead and mute this real quick. But if I'm playing my audio and I hear a beat, I'll just tap right here or right, like that, just like that. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go ahead and add on a beat to ev every beat I hear, add a little marker. So if you have iPhone, make sure to hit right here. And if you have Android, it's probably along here, unless they updated it. I haven't used Iolet Motion on my Android in forever, but it was usually like a little ribbon with a plus sign in here. So just tap that instead. Okay, so right here is where I want my audio to end. So what I'll do is I'll just tap on it and then I'll just hit this right here. So it automatically trims off the rest of the song. Now I don't have the amount of photos that these beats require. So what I'm gonna do also, um, when you're adding your photos in, and if you want to put them on beat, but you don't want to have to scroll directly onto the little marker, you can just hit these arrows and they'll take you to each and every marker. So now when I'm at my marker, I'm going to hit this plus sign to add in my photos. Now, if your media doesn't pop up, you're going to need to go to your, you need to go to your settings in your phone and then go to your apps, go to Alight Motion and then hit allow for the photos and videos. Um, mine automatically does that. So I can't show you guys how to do that but it's pretty much the same for every phone. Now you're gonna wanna go to media, make sure you have your photos or your videos ready and just go ahead and add them in. Now you're gonna be thinking, oh God, why is it taking up so many spaces? It's super simple. Just go to the next beat by hitting this arrow. And then like we did before, just trim off the rest of this photo. Now I'm gonna add another photo on and show you. So we have this photo right here. We're just gonna hit this arrow and then trim the rest off. So as you can see, these two are now on beat. Now, if you have black lines around your photo, it's because your photo isn't zoomed in fully. So what you're gonna wanna do is tap on your photo, hit these three dots, and then hit fill composition area. And then just go ahead and do that with all of your photos. And yeah, that's how you add the audio on and the photos on. Now, my main tips for you when you're making an edit, you want to add on tiles. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna tap on your photo, go to effects, add effect, and this is what your screen will look like. Probably not all this, but because this is just what I use, but you want to add on tiles. 
and make sure you select mirror. This will make it so that when you zoom your photo in or out, there's gonna be no black lines around it or anything and it's just super helpful. The next thing you need to add on is motion blur. That should be right here at the front when you open it up. I never adjust mine to keep it at 1.00. These are just the most two important things that you wanna make sure you have added on to every single clip. Unless you're doing like a flip, then you don't need tiles. There's like certain clips that need tiles, but all the time have motion blur on. You're ready to export. Make sure your settings are my like mine. You can either do 4K quality. I just have mine as regular quality, 1080p. Make sure your frame rate is 60, unless you're going for like an old aesthetic type edit thingy. Now what you wanna do is you wanna hit the share button. And to export, you have to watch an ad, which I know is like kind of silly. And I don't like that they added that on because I was never there before. But just go ahead and watch that ad and then your edit will be saved. And yeah, that's an updated how to use a light motion for beginners. I really, really hope this video helped you guys out. I tried to not make it as long as last time's video because that was just, I think, added way too much information into it. But I pretty much covered all the basics on it this time. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any tutorial requests, please leave them in the comments below. I love you guys. Bye.